Um, well, first, for, uh, first and foremost, thanks for uh, coming this uh, morning. Um, I think everyone's aware that uh, yesterday Kevin was uh, not practicing with us, and uh, expectation was that he would. <clears throat> and uh, this morning, I wanted to make sure that we were um, uh, just getting in front of uh, any questions that you guys might have in regards to that. Um, at this point, uh, we've made the decision that we're going to uh, remove him from basketball uh, activities on the floor. He'll probably continue to do conditioning and athletic performance work, but he's not making the progress that uh, we had hoped and anticipated him making. He still has some soreness uh, in his uh, in his foot, um, and the protocol that's in place calls for him to be able to compete uh, on the floor without that at this stage. So. Uh, obviously, it's the it's the right decision. Uh, difficult for him, I know. Uh, he's a, as we know, a, a competitor. He wants to be out on the floor, um, but uh, the health and wellness of our players is absolutely the most important thing, and that's always going to be what we make our decisions based on. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, what I'd like to do is try to provide everybody with uh, an understanding of uh, what the next steps are. Uh, we've always worked in this fashion in regards to these situations. So. Um, first step is uh, identifying that you know he's not making the progress that we had hoped and expected, uh, so stopping him from basketball-related activities. Uh, we're going to continue to um, confer and engage with the specialist team that's been put together. Uh, we've got some of the best and brightest uh, foot and ankle uh, specialists in the world that have uh, come together and continue to collaborate uh, through the process um, uh, since the initial injury. And they're going to continue to do that. So what we'd like to do is get everybody the uh, necessary information, uh, have Kevin evaluated by the necessary people. At that point, we'll have a better understanding as to you know what it is that's uh, creating the, the lack of progress, the continued soreness. And then I'll be back in front of you guys to provide you with you know whatever information that is um, uh, that is at my disposal at that point in time. Until that point in time, it will be really hard for me to. Um, give you, you know, exact answers because we're waiting for those as well, um, and we want to be in a position where we have a uh, the best understanding and information before we get in front of you. So uh, I'm not going to speculate. We're not going to talk about conjecture or hypotheticals. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions that I can, uh, but we want to get the accurate information first and then be back in front of you with with more info. Um, so with that, I answer any. Is questions. this just through the regular season or? Including playoffs, or it's just timetable to be determined. Well, I, I think <clears throat> I think the most important thing is um, to, to state he's not going to be playing right now. Uh, when he's healthy to play, and when he's able to uh, return without that soreness, he'll be back on the floor. If that takes um, the rest of the regular season, if that takes the rest of the playoffs, that's what it's going to take. As I said before, the health and wellness of our players is the most important thing. Um, this is this is the decision that we're making. Um, because this is the most important thing, his health. Are you concerned that it may be in a, a different problem considering the fact that this new screw was put in to eliminate the pain? Well, again, I think that's, you know, the, the stage that we're in right now is you know, working to get that information and make sure that we're getting the most accurate assessment of, um, of the situation from the, from the best and the brightest uh, that deal with these issues, um, you know, nationally and internationally. Until we have that information, I don't want to speculate on, on what it is, other than to say that the protocol in place was to have him be able to compete without soreness. If he's unable to do that, we have to make this decision, and that's what we're doing. Sam, you had said. Yeah, I, I, would, I would say out indefinitely, um, you know, out until he's, he's able to return and play, you know, without that soreness in his foot. Um, and uh, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna have to take our lead from the from the specialist team that's been put together. Sam, you had said earlier it looked like the original injury, the Jones fracture, was healing properly. Does that still appear to be the case, or could that be an issue also? Well, again, I think you know, as I said before, right now what we've decided to do is is take him off the floor so that the people that you know lead the the processes, the people that are the experts, can make those determinations. I should have that information hopefully shortly. Um, but we're in the process now of sending that information and getting it to the necessary people, having him evaluated by the necessary people, and we need to let them make those determinations. Each time that I um, you know, address you guys, I always want to try to give you as much as I can. I always also want to try to be as accurate as possible, and um, I need the physicians to give me the information that I can relay and I'll be able to do that. When, when will this evaluation take place? Uh, we're in the process of scheduling that right now um, and making sure that 
uh, he can be seen uh, by the necessary parties and the necessary parties have the information um, at their disposal prior to the evaluations. Will that be here? Uh, no, no. Uh, we've been very fortunate to have an incredibly collaborative uh, group of, of specialists that have been put together and have worked very well together through this process. Um, through uh, Kevin's agent, uh, through our medical uh, staff here in Oklahoma City, they've put together a tremendous group of, of, of physicians um, and uh, they'll, they'll all need to get the information and then obviously um, you know, build a consensus direction on next steps uh, you know, after we determine you know, why, the, why the soreness is still in, in, um, persistent. We'll be back in Charlotte where you got the original. Yeah, um, I, I think Dr. Anderson will certainly be involved. Uh, we've also uh, consulted Dr. Dr. Uh, Martin O'Malley from New York. Uh, he's been a part of this process uh, from the early stages as well. And uh, uh, Dr. James Nunnally in North Carolina. These are three of the top foot and ankle specialists in the entire world. Um, they've worked together collaboratively on other cases. Uh, we're very fortunate that they're, um, they're working on this one and they've been excellent uh, through the process in terms of um, advising and providing uh, a guidance and, and, and next steps. So how is the goal to get him back on the court this season? The goal is to get him back on the court healthy, whenever that is. Um, the last thing uh, on our mind is, um, you know, uh, ever putting a player in position uh, to, to try to win a ball game that, at the expense of their health. Um, that's the furthest thing from our, from our radar. Uh, you know, it's funny that this morning, like, you know, coming in to shoot around and all those different things that are taking place. Um, I know we play a game tonight, but that's not that's not where my focus is right now. My focus right now is on making sure that we're being diligent, uh, methodical, uh, very evidence-based, and, and staying uh, staying true to the process that's been put in place. And that's what we're doing. And as difficult as a decision it is, I think for Kevin just because I know how competitive it is and how much he wants to be on the floor, we have to do the right thing here uh, and make sure we're getting all of the information, it's being assessed accurately, and then we're determining you know, what's gonna put him in the best position to, to go forward um, you know, as a basketball player. Would the best thing be for him to shut it down for the rest of the season? Well, I mean, again, I think essentially that's what we're, that's the direction that we're taking right now in terms of removing him from all basketball related activities. Um, I want to make sure that we're being true to uh, the evaluations, providing the, the, the specialist team with the necessary information, uh, letting them make some determinations. Um, but I will tell you that you know, uh, unless he's able to be back on the floor without soreness, um, he, he won't be back on the floor. And that would be the case for any of our players uh, in any situation. Um, and we followed, you know, we followed the, the steps that were laid out and um, the progress just isn't where we want it to be. And uh, we know we gave you guys a timeline uh, previously. Uh, we did that for a reason, but we're not gonna be uh, you know, uh, married to the timeline. Uh, the timeline's inconsequential. And uh, for us, it's about uh, getting this solved, uh, doing it in an efficient way, uh, and in a way that's uh, gonna put him in the best position going forward. How's he doing? Uh, well, you know, I mean, I think everybody here knows him. Um, I've been around him for eight years, um, and he's one of the most competitive people that, uh, that I've been around. At the same time, he's also a very intelligent person. He understands that uh, we have to do what's best for him. Uh, we have to do what's best for his health, uh, and, and make sure he's getting the, the best treatment, the best care that we can possibly provide him. And uh, his representation has been excellent through this as well. They understand that um, you know we have to work in concert to get the correct answers, and that um, until we get those, um, we're just not going to be in a position to put them back on the basketball floor. And, um, you know, we have a lot of confidence in, in the group that we have. Uh, we have a lot of confidence in, in our team, and, um, and they're going to move forward. But I, I know Kevin will be with them uh, as he has uh, this season when he hasn't been able to be out on the floor, leading and, 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 uh, and being supportive of everybody. Sam, how do you categorize this season? Or what do you follow it away given all the injuries and unfortunate things that you guys have had to happen? Well, the first thing I'd do is I'd wait for the season to conclude itself. And, uh, you know, that's one thing we've always done. You know, we, we need to wait for um, our entire season to play itself out. Uh, we're in a great position right now to control our own destiny. Uh, we set out to be a playoff team that could then uh, impact, the, impact the postseason. That's still within our reach. Uh, I've got a tremendous amount of confidence in, uh, in the guys in our locker room and our coaching staff 
Uh, I think we have a better understanding as to what drives our success. Uh, we're going to have to continue to compete defensively, uh, have great habits. Uh, I think we're going to have to be uh, disciplined offensively. I think we're going to have to uh, stick together because we still have you know, some, uh, some really difficult opponents in front of us. Um, but the measure of this team is going to be um, you know, what we accomplish you know, after 82 games and knowing where we stack up. And we're still far from that. So, uh, day by day approach that we've in, you know, we've we've enlisted um, since we arrived here in 2008 is you know we're fully engaged in that right now, and, and for good reason. <clears throat> because when you go through these things um, in the NBA, if you want to be uh, an elite team or, or or a sustainable organization, a sustainable program, you're going to have to navigate the unexpected and the unforeseen. And I'd like to think that. The fact that we're still um, in position to strike and control our own destiny, you know, is an indication that um, we're, we're on the right path. But we have to finish the job, and um, uh, I have a lot of confidence in the in the, in the group. Uh, how has Scott Brooks performed this season, given everything that's happened around him? Well, I mean, I think Scotty, you know, has certainly had a lot of different things to juggle. Um, I'm sure there have been other other coaches that have had different situations like this in the past. None of I can't think of them off the top of my head, but. Um, you know, it's not easy when uh, you've got a lot of guys in and out of lineups. Uh, I think he's done a really, really good job of, of managing that, of um, you know, uh, integrating new players that we've added. Uh, that's not an easy thing to do either. Uh, I think he's been steady the way that he has been over the years, um, and that's one of the great things about Scotty is. You know, you, you know what you're going to get. You know, he's going to come in each day. He's going to do the job. Um, he's going to lead the team. He's going to um, have a clear idea as to what it is that is going to drive our success. And I think he deserves a lot of credit for uh, for navigating some of these things. And I think that you know, looking forward uh, here as we go down the stretch, I think um, he's going to continue to to do what he's done, which is you know, put our guys out there in a position to be successful, regardless of who's on the floor where we're playing, when we're playing, and really have the focus be on how we're playing. And um, I think he deserves a lot of credit. Sam, any update on Serge's progress since his surgery? I uh, saw him this morning briefly. Uh, he's doing, you know, he's, he's moving around all right. Um, you know, we've been through, um, you, know, uh, you know, over the years, these types of cleanups in the past. Guys are, um, you know, moving around remarkably well, you know, early on. But it's, a, it, it's again, there's a set of uh, return to play uh, steps that need to take place for him. Um, he's in good spirits. I think he understands that um, you know, we, 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 we found ourselves in a position where that was the necessary decision. Um, and um, I think he's optimistic about you know, getting back on the floor uh, you know, healthy and, and feeling better than he did you know, the last time because of the, because of the swelling. What's the severity last for question for Sam? Oh, uh, severity for Ennis? Uh, God, wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> And this is ankle. Um, you know, he's he's not going to be able to play this evening. Um, you know, I think we're going to see kind of how he responds in the next uh, 24, 48 hours. Um, and uh, you know, as I said before, listen, you know, that injuries are part of sports. Um, injuries are part of um, competition, and, and how you deal with them and how you um, uh, manage them, you know, competitively. That, that's that's part of the measure of, of any team. And, um, you know, we'll be without Ennis tonight, um, but you know we've seen some really, really good things out of guys like McGarry. Um, you know that's been pressed into pressed into duty, and um, you know we've always looked at things from an optimistic standpoint. We feel like we've got a, a pretty deep team, a uh, pretty versatile group of guys. I think we've got a, guy, a group of guys that are really aligned and connected uh, to try to play Thunder basketball. And fortunately for us, we've got a great group of fans that. Um, you know, help inspire that that thought process and help inspire that resiliency and the optimism that exists in Oklahoma City. So, um, you know, I'm excited to see our team play, and uh, hopefully we'll end us back out there soon. Uh, but the you know, most important thing is is how we're playing and, and our approach to the game. I've got total confidence in the guys that we're going to be uh, be ready to go. All right, thank you, Sam.